Season's greetings to you all. I'm travelling as the Victorians would have done on the London to Dover Express driven by John here expertly. And we're stepping back in time to celebrate a writer who many believe invented our traditional Christmas. His story of Scrooge has become a family favourite since it was written back in 1843 and we're gearing ourselves up to the 200th anniversary of his birth. Who am I talking about? It is of course Charles Dickens. On this week's Songs of Praise we're Christmas caroling Dickens style. We'll be hearing from his great-great-grandson and finding out more about the writer's faith and passion for social justice. One of the most important messages of all Dickens' work is his frustration with social injustice. His Christianity was of a very practical kind. He was a great performer, a, a celebrity, a, a star on the road. Dickens' legacy is the love of humanity, which is the keynote of all his works. We've come to Kent, to the area around Rochester. It's a place Dickens knew and loved. The happiest years of his childhood were spent just down the road in Chatham. Many of the buildings here in Rochester were mentioned in his novels. He referred to this area as the birthplace of his fancy and imagination. As a boy, he and his father would go walking, and it was on one of these occasions that they came across Gad's Hill Place. His father told him if he worked hard enough, he might one day afford the house. Dickens never forgot this. Years later, he did buy it and spent the last ten years of his life there. I'm not sure if Dickens ever visited the church we're off to, but he certainly would have known it. We're heading to St George's Church in Gravesend. Can you stop there? Yes, come aboard. Members of the congregation are gathered dressed as they would have been in Dickens' day. Everyone has made a huge effort, bringing our Dickensian Christmas to life. And we begin with a joyous Advent hymn. I'm sure the man himself would recognise, Hark the Glad Sound. On public view here at Eastgate House in Rochester is Dickens' Swiss Chalet. It was originally in his garden at Gads Hill Place. It was given to him as a Christmas present and it actually arrived as a flat pack. Imagine that. Most days he'd be up there writing away. 
think it's fair to say that it was his best Christmas present ever. I think one of the reasons that Dickens wrote about Christmas a lot was that it was a time of year that he really loved. Um, his parents had been very fun-loving people and Christmas in their household was presumably very happy. They were very sociable, they loved parties. When Dickens got married to his wife Catherine Hogarth, from the beginning, Christmas was a real celebration in their family. There was an increasing interest during the 19th century in Christmas traditions. Lots of candles and jollity and, and celebration. But what Dickens did, through A Christmas Carol in particular, was to bring the idea of Christian charity as an enormous part of what should be happening at Christmas. A Christmas Carol was written in 1843. The first edition sold out within days. In A Christmas Carol, the Cratchit family is the ideal Christmas family scene. The Cratchits themselves are, as Dickens sees it, the perfect family. They don't have much money, but they have a lot of love, and they're very considerate to each other. People often read A Christmas Carol and, and see Scrooge saying to Bob Cratchit, you'll want the whole day off tomorrow, I suppose. Um, and Bob Cratchit says, oh, if it's quite convenient, so it's not convenient. One of the messages he was getting over with the novel was that um, employers really had to think about this. It should be automatic that people had Christmas Day off. It was a day of prayer, it was a day of, of celebration, it was a day to be with family. Oh, here's Hello, everyone. Hi. This is Cratchit. A lot of people um, made quite a sort of secular Bible of A Christmas Carol and kept it on a little shelf and read it every Christmas because of its strong teachings of humanity and um, celebrating Christmas in the true sense. In many of his books, Dickens creates an image of Christmas, which remains familiar to us today. Perhaps what he did was to introduce almost a kind of cult of celebrating Christmas. His first real treatment of Christmas came in Sketches by Boz. There's a wonderful essay called A Christmas Dinner, and that just about describes everything. And this is really the, the prototype of the happy Christmases that we then see at Dingley Dell in a Pickwick Papers and with the Cratchits. The ideas of carol singers, the idea of family meals, all these things that Dickens wrote about. Decorating your homes with holly and ivy. <laughs> Merry Christmas! One of the most important things that Dickens says in his description of the Cratchit family Christmas is that they were pleased with one another and contented with the time. A Merry Christmas, my dears. God bless us.